valuable information here. Uh, so I think both of you know, maybe you do too at home. I've been running for almost 30 years. I've run thousands of miles, many alone. Nothing has ever happened until now. It is something I recently shared with you on my social media, something I've learned many of you can relate to. So I set out to learn how we can better protect ourselves. I turn around and he is coming at me full bore. I've never felt so much fright. That raw and honest moment just hours after the encounter on a late Saturday morning. I was running along here, the very busy Santa Monica Boulevard, approaching the Century City Mall when I spotted a young man, probably 20, shirtless, walking in these westbound lanes heading eastbound. Well, just as I was going to run by him, he made his way to the sidewalk. He lunged at me. I pivoted around and continued on. Of course, I was startled. I thought I was in the clear but my intuition told me otherwise. So as I was running westbound, I decided to turn around. And sure enough, he was running straight for me, sprinting. I picked up my pace. That's when I noticed a passerby waving me down. They pulled over. A complete stranger opened their car door for me. I jumped in, and we took off. What do you remember about me and my demeanor once I hopped in the car? Um, you're shaking. I recently reconnected with that good Samaritan, Natalie. Natalie still rattled as she recalls to me for the first time what she witnessed. It's scary to see. Oh, sweetheart. So. Natalie was in the passenger seat, her husband behind the wheel, when she says she spotted me dodge my would-be attacker. And then I saw this, like, like, a weird smile. I saw him turn around and then, like, run after you. I was like trying to scream at you, wave my hand down so I could get you to see me. It was just instinctual for you. I just felt that you needed help. But what if Natalie hadn't helped me that day? That's where the two gents, Kenpo Karate instructor Jen Franklin and the woman dubbed Stun Gun Jen, Jennifer Lester. Now I've got all the power. Enter my story. I was put on this earth to help people be safe. Stun Gun Jen is known for her purple and teal hair. The colors linked to raising awareness for domestic violence and sexual assault. She's a safety trainer and representative with Damsel in Defense, a group designed to educate, protect, and equip women with non-lethal devices like this personal alarm called Hear Me Out. To help you create that noise. That sends an alert to five of your pre-programmed contacts, lets them know you're in trouble, and sends your GPS location. For more protection, Stun Gun Jen recommends, you guessed it, a stun gun. It's legal to carry in California for anyone 18 and older, as long as you don't have a felony. Trying it was a first for me. Oh, and I thought I was going to feel like a vibration, but right. there's nothing. There's it's no kickback. So, there's no kickback. What does this do to somebody? Causes extreme pain. She says in many cases, just brandishing it is enough. If somebody's coming at me and I go, back off, there's a good chance they're going to back off. Another way to get an attacker to back off? No, no, no. Good. Really good. Palm strikes. Why the palm and not a fist? If you're not trained to punch, you can roll your wrists. We're striking to the face. We can strike to the eyes. We can strike to the ears. We can strike to the groin. This second degree black belt who teaches a women's self-defense class in Norwalk shows me the moves that all begin with a wide, stable stance. Franklin says fighting back verbally is also key to maintaining a steady breath. No, no, no! If you're grabbed like this, Franklin says, use your forearm against their throat and arch your back like a cat to break the grip. Good. If you're pulled, use the attacker's momentum against them. No, no, no. Another method? I push down, pull up. Now, what if I did this? Boom. Cross over their hold, palm your own fist, Push down, then up, break free, and follow through. No! Oh my gosh, that was great. Whether you're arming yourself with techniques or devices, they're all tools that could one day save your life. Moves I wish I would have known that late January morning. Now that I've learned this from you today, I do feel more empowered and even more grateful for my guardian angel, Natalie. Well, I thank you and Sam no for pulling over and saving me. I'm glad we were there at that moment. 
Mm -hmm. I am just so grateful to Jen and Jen and of course my guardian angel Natalie. For more information on the Jens, go to our website. It's foxla.com where we have posted all the information you may be looking for. Now as for me, this experience has given me a whole new outlook outlook to be laser focused on what is happening in Los Angeles and beyond from random crime to homelessness to lawlessness. I'm going to take this on as a new beat. So please reach out to me with your concerns, your story, something maybe that's happening in your neighborhood that you think deserves this attention. Reach out to me and I will help shine a light on whatever that me may be and maybe you've experienced something similar because mm -hmm. like I said when I posted this on my social media I heard back from so many people yeah. who have had something similar happen to wow. them.